No clever intro for this one, no loads of B-roll and all that there because today is one of those dirty days that no one wants to admit that they have to do in photography and that is today is the day we clean the studio, it's, it's a mess, it's a mess, so it's one of those days I have to get through the studio, just clear it up, like look at the state of all that there, yeah, so I'm going to take the time clean up the studio, and then I have a couple of products to photograph for a client, so I'm going to show you my approach for that. Tomorrow's looking like a good day for some photos, so then I'll take you along for tomorrow's shoot, but for the meantime, it's a, uh, yeah, it's the horrible cleaning day. Well, we interrupt this cleaning episode because something has arrived. The postman has arrived today. I was speaking to Aperture Lighting about maybe doing some product reviews and one of the products has arrived. Except, uh, I don't remember talking about this one. Uh, yeah, so they've sent me out the new 60D. Didn't know I was gonna get this. That's a lovely surprise on a Wednesday. Right, come on, let's have a look. Quickly, uh, let's have a look here now. How do you open this? Oh, okay, so, this, so the case is actually styrofoam. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this thing is absolutely tiny. This is a 60, what, isn't it? Yeah, 60D, yeah. So this is a 61 LED. Look at the size of it. This is tiny. Holy God. Wow. Yeah, let's see if I can get this. I might not be able to open this with one hand, but we'll have a look. Just put it down. Let's see. No, I need to put the camera down to open that. Right, let's have a look. Whoa, that is... There's a very small element, that is. This light is... Oh my God, I can't believe how small this light is. Right, so... I was just going to use the generic lights I have set up, so that's a Viltrox, and in this light I have a uh, Godox. Well, I'm actually going to set up this, uh, if it'll focus, yeah. So I'm going to use this one as the kicker, and I'm going to pair it up, because I have the other one for this, over here. I'm going to pair it up with this, the 100D. But look at the size of it. There's, there's a size difference for you there and there. Though. So there is the... 100D, and there's a good weight difference in it as well. Just put it there so it doesn't fall. Don't fall. And then there's the difference there. There's the 60D. Put them together. Such a scientific comparison here with me holding the camera in one hand. But um, yeah, let's get this set up and do. I was going to do a. I have to do a product shoot anyway, so I was going to use video lights, so I might as well just use these now instead. So yeah, cool. Okay, so I have the photos set up and ready to go. It's an e-commerce shot for a local uh, company that are selling these very premium uh, notebook journals. And I've already shot for these in the past as well. I did a shoot there not too long ago. So I already knew what they wanted for this. So this is just a quick and simple e-commerce version for what I've actually done in the past for them. Hence why I was able to set the shot up 
pretty quickly. It's just to show one of their gift sets off. And I'm literally just keeping it really, really simple with this. I want to be using the Aperture 100D as the key light. And I have that in a 140 centimeter strip box, giving a nice flat uh, light across the image. And then I'm bringing in I'm trying out that Aperture 60D, which seems to be very easy to set up, which is typical of Aperture anyway. I usually have it diffused, do I? No, actually this time around I don't have it diffused. So it's just on the reflector and it's at its lowest power of about 1% because it's just to give a little bit of a uh, highlight to the background and a little bit of a shadow, but not too much. You don't want it too uh, harsh, but it's quite similar to a lot of e-commerce photography that you're seeing in trend at the minute where they're kind of going with the long shadows. So it's backlit and then your key light is actually working as a fill more so than the key light. So in this case right now though, because it's on the white background, um, I'm gonna use the key light as a key light and then the kicker is the kicker. So uh, settings on this, because they're video lights, you do have to play around with your shutter speed a little bit. So my settings are 1 15th of a second, F16 and ISO 640. So you can see there, the ISO has had to come up, the shutter speed has had to increase. And that's the difference between using video lights over strobe lights. Strobe lights, you wouldn't have that at all. You'd be shooting a 1 250th of a second, ISO 100 at F16, and probably using maybe a quarter power. I'm using the 100D at full power for this. And because it's a photo, I can, I can extend out the shutter speed. You wouldn't get away with this with video. You'd have to increase your ISO, but we're only doing photos. So I'm gonna focus I'm gonna focus in on the pens and that's gonna get me a nice even spread of sharpness from front to back to the image. And yeah, two second timer and away we go. Right, we're in a fairly cold evening at Drogheda at the viaduct and I was touching going the way down from Dundalk to here, wasn't sure about it. Uh, got it all set up, you saw me setting up there. I didn't even bother wearing my boots, you'll see I was still wearing my runners when I got here. Uh, my hands are cold. So I've been here before and I was never really happy with the photos. I've shot further down in the grass area, but tonight I'm staying a good bit further away to kind of compress in the image. I'm sitting at 50 millimeters a minute and you'll notice as well I'm actually using the other HMY system that they sent out to me. So this is more of a square filter system and on this one I have a 10 stop filter. My exposure currently is at a quarter second f14 at ISO 640 so we're going to do a four minute exposure which unfortunately means I'm going to have to put on long exposure noise reduction so I'm going to have to wait eight minutes to see a four minute exposure. There's not much moving in the clouds. I don't know what's going to happen, but at least with the four minutes in the water, it'll be nice and smooth. So we're going to give that a go. So just going to do just a base shot first of all. Yeah, looks all right. I have the water polarized a little bit. Don't know if I need any more polarization on it. I'll leave it anyway. Um, I think I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. No time like the present, let's just do this four minute exposure. Oh, hold on, put it on in the camera. Uh, menu, and I have it in my smart menus as well, so it's easier to find long exposure noise reduction. Turn it on, unfortunately. And uh, let's get a few things ready. Make sure you have the remote control ready because that's so needed. Okay, now where is the tent, where is the tent stop here in, oh, here we go. 
So this is a magnetic 10 stop filter that will just click onto it. Similar to the uh, eight and a half stop I had in the last vlog. So just give this a wipe down. Put it in place and away we go. Now the great thing with these is not only does it magnetize on, it actually locks on as well. There's a little turn dial for you to lock it on so it's not going to go anywhere. So it's even safer than the eight and a half stop one. So let's get into bulb mode on this. And now actually my wife bought me a smartwatch and it has a stopwatch on it. So we'll get that going. If I can remember where the stopwatch is. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Stopwatch is there. And we will go for... I'll put a two second timer on. Oh no, I don't need to have it on. I have it on here, don't I? Okay. Start. Okay. Four minute exposure. Uh, I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, so the four minutes came back and it looked quite nice. So just to make sure that I had everything covered with the light as well, I took another bracketed shot and I was shooting at like, just check here, what was I, what was I actually shooting at? 30 seconds, 15 seconds and 52 seconds. So it, it's covering me for all the exposures that I can ever want for this. Um, I had hoped that the bridge would light up, but apparently it's not, so... Oh well. It's still lit nicely around the spot, ambiently, so we'll work with it anyway. Um, yeah, as you can see with this video, this was all over the place, which is usually how my weeks go anyway, so that's kind of what I wanted to show with this vlog as well, is that some people have structure in their life, and some people are like me, where you have no structure. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I won't know what this video, I, I won't know what this photo is going to be like until I edit it, so you'll know because I'm going to put the photo up now. So if you like this video, uh, hit like, subscribe if you're new, ring that bell to get notified every time I put up a new video. And until the next time, later Gators. <laughs>